explain how this e-collar works. Yeah, so um, have you ever felt a TENS unit? Mm -hmm. Yes. So the technology of the electronic collar is very similar to a TENS unit. Okay. So, um, you know, it has various levels. And the, you know, if we, if we translate to, you know, what a TENS unit is to a dog, yeah, I can explain. If you've never felt one, I can explain it to you. Okay. I can prepare you for it and I can tell you, hey, I'm going to put this on and this is the benefit and this is why I'm putting it on you. And, you know, we're going to go from the lowest level and then you're going to tell me when you feel it and then we're going to gradually go up until you start to feel that, that static mm -hmm. stimulation, you know, activate your muscles, right? Because you can rationalize that. Uh, the assimilation process is very quick. But to a dog, we can't rationalize that. You know, so what we do is we basically do that in a, in a longer scale. So basically what we do is we go with the lowest level and then we let the dog know to the most minute level, which if you felt the TENS unit, you probably notice that there are levels that you probably don't even feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how we start. We go, this has a meaning. It means this, either come get food or come check with me. It means something like that. And then what it does is it takes on a tactile vehicle for us to communicate through. So if like, you know, one big common problem is a lot of dogs, because they have brains, they decide, I don't want to come back right now. I'm doing something really interesting out there across the street. And it doesn't matter how exciting you look, doesn't matter how much food you have, doesn't matter if you have their favorite toy. If they found squirrel or another dog's pee across the street, you're not gonna get them back. But with an electronic collar, you have this invisible leash, essentially. You have this means to communicate with them across the street through a tactile format that lets the dog know we're talking. And the dog goes, okay, because they're tactile in nature. You know what I mean? Verbal is not their, uh, it's not their forte. Um, body language is, um, Tactile pressure is, that's their natural form of understanding. So essentially that's what the e-collar is. It, it becomes a vehicle for us to communicate with. So that way, um, you know, they're able to go, okay, doesn't matter if I'm here or if I'm 30 feet away, this is what, what this means. What is the range? Depends on the unit. Some of them are a quarter of a mile, some of them are two miles. So the owner needs to have a device on them. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. So in the, you know, when I train my clients' dogs in the, with the e-collar, what I'll do is I'll tell them, look, I did the training for you know, a month, right? however long I do it. And then what I'll tell them is, is where a lot of people, um, they get an aha moment about this. Let's say your dog is a year old, right? And I train the dog for a month. Well, we have now one year and we have four weeks. So the one year is more pressing in their memory. The four weeks is more of a restructuring things. So then what we'll do is we'll go, okay, when you take the dog home for the next six to eight months, I need you to maintain this um, SOP. You know what I mean? I need you to maintain yeah, this. kind of was one of my questions. Kind of like, yeah. What, what do you do with it? How do you train the next person? Yeah, so all it would be is, so I do the hard part. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go, I'm going to teach the dog the ABCs. I'm going to go, this is what this is. This is what, what it means. This is what we do. And then when the new person takes over, all I tell them is, this is how you maintain. You know what I mean? Like if, I, if you bring me your car, you bring me an engine and, and a, a transmission and a body and a frame, I'm gonna do the work for you. And all I have to do is I'm gonna have to tell you, change the oil every 2,000 miles, rotate the tires every so many miles. Um, every so many miles, you know, uh, add more, um, you know, coolant, right? All of the maintenance stuff, right? And so then the maintenance part of it becomes the next six to eight months next six to eight months you have to maintain so by the time we get to the six to eight month mark the previous nine months because training included is now the dog's most pressing memory 